welcome back everybody to the continuation of SpaceX, Crestorio and AAI vehicles. So last time around we automated the automation course and this thing already backed up. That's good. Um, so down here, the next step will be automating engines. The same amount of automation course that we make over here, we will probably need the same amount of engines for everything we need in the mall. And we're just going to take a look at these intermediates. We might also do the same thing for electric motors and maybe the same thing for inserter parts. And then we should have everything down here that we need to make uh, to automate everything. Gears, beams and sticks. Um, sticks, if we need them, we make them on site. Um, beams, we definitely make off site. And gears, I have no opinion about gears at the moment. <clears throat> we will see about that. Good. So next step, uh, we are going to make some engines and engines is basically gears and iron plate. We need two gears per second and two iron plate per second. Gears is a thing that we make at a rate of two per second. So is this a one to one? Every two seconds you need four. Every two seconds you make four. This is a one to one. Good. Um, and then, of course, we are going to make four, two per second over here. Um, how much do we make over here? Um, that's more or less one per second, uh, then two, four per second in total. So one of these would be similar to this, but let's make just a yellow belt or something like that. And to make a yellow belt, um, let's maybe do it like this. One, two, three. No. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, let's keep you over there. Okay, this will be a little bit off, but you know what? So be it. Let's make it look a little bit off. <laughs> also, I've just awoken, so my voice is still a little bit rough around the edges. Um, I might have played XCOM again until like 2 a.m. And by 2 a.m., actually, I mean 6 a.m. Because I started playing XCOM at 2 a.m. And it's just such a fun game. I'm just super enjoying that game. It's a bloody amazing game. I want more XCOM. Um, I might stream it at some point. Um, actually, I will definitely stream it at some point because, man... Why would you not stream that game? Uh, let's see. And let's try it like this. And yeah, we can make it happen. We can make it happen. Good. Um, this will definitely be a little bit more of a weird build. Let's see what we can do. So um, this will be iron. Then this will be iron. Iron, iron, iron. We could do it like this, you know. Like this and that. And then you over there. And then you over there. And then we plonk it in over there. And then we do the same thing, say, over here. Let's get an underground. Um, I have an underground. Ah, I'm out of belt. Mm, belt, 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 belt. Make me some belt, please. Here we go, here we go. Now, this over here, over here, of course, will be a little bit different. Can we already make landfill? Is that a thing we can already do? Um, what do we need for landfill? Land. Ah, green science. Um, not that green science is hard or anything, but eh, annoying. Um, hmm. Well, we can make this one and this one. Uh, at least then we can feed you up like this. Mm. Oh, I see the way. Uh, it's gonna be horrible, but lovely at the same time. So, uh, I mean, sure, why not? Do it like this, 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 this. You go there, perfect. Then you go up. I do hope we have enough space for power poles in this one. Um, you go this way, you go that way, and then you just do this, and we're done. <laughs> Good. Um, and then we're gonna place steel chest over here, and then a load over there. There we go, there we go. And then the only thing we need to do is to hook this whole thing up into uh, our little main line over here. Um, you get one, you get one. Hook that up, hook that up, we're done. And then some undergrounds, please. There we go, there we go. And that should feed everything. Now, of course, this whole supply line over here is not optimized in any which way or form, uh, which means uh, things will back up, things will not be supplied as efficient as they should be. Doesn't matter at the moment. At the moment, we just want to automate stuff, just to make it run. I missed you somehow. Oh, there we go. I'm out of poles. Uh, power pole, power pole. There we go. Make some power poles, please. Good. That seems to be working. Ooh. Ah. 
it might have hit the button list. <laughs> we could actually check. Um, is, is, is this show up in here? We've not killed... Okay, we've already killed 1,600 small biters, but we have not killed any nests. Too bad, too bad, too bad. Good. That is engines automated. We shall also maybe limit engines to maybe, say, four stacks. Then again, this is limited to 800. Um, 800 over here would be four... It would be 16 stacks. 16 stacks is over here. So let's do that as well. Good. And then let's make some electrical engines. Um, there we go. A whole bunch of copper cable. Iron gear wheels and iron plates. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's just maybe sketch it out real quick. Um, I mean, we technically already had sketched it out. As the amount of copper cable you need was like a ratio of 3 to 1. Um, because we need 24 copper. We need 12 copper cable per second. Each one of these makes 4 copper cable per second. Uh, actually, it makes 8 every 2. That's 4 every 1. 3 of these is 12 every 1. And then we need to make four iron gear wheels every two seconds. Um, there we go, there we go. Iron gear wheels, we make them at the rate of four every two. So we only need one of these. Uh, and then we need some iron plates. Good. And then we have something like this. And then we make how many small electric motors? We make oh, a decent amount of them. Uh, let's make two of these builds. <clears throat> and then maybe try to put them over here somewhere. And then we can start automating our mole. So maybe something like... Yeah, let's start over there. There. And there. You over there. And then you over there. And then we mirror the whole thing. Is that a little bit too far away? No, that's fine. And then... Oop, you over there. And then you will be copper cable. Doop, 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 doop. You'll be the engines. There we go. You will be some gears. There we go. Oh, yeah, we should also maybe automate the inserted parts. Good, good, good. And then the only thing we have to do over here at some point in time is just pull these um, out on belts and then process them down here or something like that. Good. Um, we need some more inserters. So let's start pocket crafting some inserters. Um, doop, 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 There we go. Make me more some inserters, please. Uh, and actually, you now look at this. Wait, stop, 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 stop. Don't make automation course. Uh, we have like 200 over here. Here. Grab these. And then just pocket craft. Ah, oh, so much better already. Oh, that's a little bit too much. Good. And then it's going to be you into there, you into there, you into there. You want some of this. You want some of that. You want some of this. You want some of this. You want some of that. You want some of this. Then we also want some belts. For this, we need some engines. Hey, you know what? I got a whole bunch of engines over here. It's already paying off that we did it like this. And then we can just... Ah, oh, yes. Just pocket craft the final product in our pants. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, and you probably also want a couple of these. For this, you need some more gear wheels. I think you can craft some gear wheels in your pockets. That's fine. But... Oof. We seem to do need some more of these. There we go. And then some more undergrounds. That is fine. That is fine. Good. There we go. Uh, let's pick you up. Let's pick you up. Where did you fall down? Okay, they're not hitting me yet. The base is still small enough that we're not getting hit by asteroids. That's good. Uh, until it's not, then it's bad. <laughs> good, 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 good. Um, so that will feed everything over here with copper. You need some iron. You need some iron. Hey, we can do the same thing over here, I think. Uh, like, you feed from over here. You feed from over there. Ah. Okay, we need to, to, to move this over then a little bit. Because if we do the same trick over here, then we're going to have like an underground over here. Goes into an underground over there. And then we have the mirror built. Which will be this, 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 this. Uh, and then, of course, you eat, you eat. Copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, paste, paste. There we go. Uh, do I have already some undergrounds? No, we're still pocket crafting. I guess it's fine. Good. And then we're going to have some output somewhere. Hey, maybe over here. Maybe over there. And if we do it like this, then... Sorry, I'm going to pick it up again once more. Then I want this to be over there. And then you over there. 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 Paste, paste, paste. Paste, paste. There we go. 
we're making some splitters in the pockets. That's fine. Yeah, the main reason is uh, we're going to be outputting over here. We're going to be outputting over there. And then the central chest will be in the middle over here. Let's use some loaders for that. Good, good, good. Then you're going to need your inputs again. Input, input, uh, input. Did that double that one? No, I did not. Perfect. Uh, then you go over there. 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 This one, that one, this one. And we're good to go. I think we also have all the stuff that we need. So that we can just pull this along. Um, it's going to be the iron belt. Um, you need iron plates. You need iron plates. Yes. Good. Lovely. And then you over there. You over there. And then my chest, please. There we go. Flip, flip. Good. Uh, that looks nice. That looks nice. At least with this, we can just start a bit of automation. One over there, one over there, one over there. I think that connects up everything. It does! Cool. Then, we do need the iron belt over here. Ooh, <laughs> that speed boost. Um, now, there's still going to be some kind of spaghetti. Uh, we're just going to live with this for now. We do have... How many How many belt speeds do we have, actually? Um, belt. Uh, we do get Space Belt at some point. Space Belt is all the same speed. 64 items per second. That's definitely going to be a bit different. Uh, but we do get things like um, Advanced Transport Belt. And I think we also get Ultimate Transport Belt. Um, is that maybe this one? Yes, it's this one. Um, so we do get Belt Speeds up to 90 at some point in time. I'm looking forward to that. Good. You're basically waiting on your iron, and then you start to make uh, this. Let's stack this to four for now, and then once we see how big the stack size is, we know how much we need. Excellent. Insert the parts next. Um, iron sticks and iron gears. Uh, that's going to be straightforward. Um, we could make that over there, but maybe, maybe let's use that for something else. I already see some empty miners over here, which we should pick up. Um... There we go. We don't have auto deconstruct installed yet. Maybe at some point in time we will. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna have to pick these up by hand. I mean, it doesn't really make any sense to 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 mark these for auto deconstruct because they will not be picked up automatically. <laughs> Though I think the only difference that it might make, and that's maybe a, a good point to make, is um, if they're marked for deconstruction, they might also stop using power. So that's at least something. Um, Good, but let's do a quick cleanup session. There we go. You can go. Perfect. What's up here? Uh, these are all still going. Nice. And, okay, my inventory is pretty, pretty, pretty full, but we should be able to pick up these. They're not required anymore, and we can just dunk iron ore into there. We can dunk stone ore into there. Stone ore actually is kind of... Oh, are we full? We are full. Uh, we're not making that much stone ore, so we might need to patch up that one stone field in the south. Good. Um, no, the other way around. There we go. Good. And yeah, somebody in the comments is playing the same map seat, and they told me about the big iron patch down here. Yes, we found that. We found that. Um... Resources are far and wide, and it's not going to be too critical in terms of um, running out of resources. I mean, the patches that are all the way out here, these are massive, like literally massive. We've, we found one of each, so we're happy for now. Um, the only problem is going to be to protect them. We also found some uranium over here, so we are good for now. And the iron field over here is still going strong. The copper field over here is going strong. The coal field over there will be going strong. The coal field over there, we probably need to hook up next time around because we are running out over here. 26,000. Um, then again, we do have a big buffer over here. Um, so we're probably going to be fine for a while. But uh, next episode, we are going to go down there and we're going to fix up uh, that coal field. That also means some biter combat. That also means we should maybe prepare already a little bit. And try to fetch ourselves some fish. There we go. Give me some fish. And maybe we can make an SMG already? I mean, actually, we can make an SMG. Yes. And we've got ammo for it. Let's also make some armor. 
Who's this? Oh, slow down capsules. I see. And then make some first aid kits. We're gonna need all of this for the fights to come. There we go. There we go. Also, technically, we... <laughs> I thought something terrible happened. <laughs> Yeah, uh, since we haven't used the console yet uh, for any kind of shenanigans, uh, we're still getting the achievement pop-ups. So that's pretty, pretty nice. Good. Yeah, make some more of these, please. And then we are actually not making them because we have wood, but I guess that's fine. Uh, what is this? Med pack, and that's a first aid kit. I see. Good. Either way, insert the parts. Um, so what do we need? Mm, there they are. Iron sticks and iron gear wheels. We are going to need four sticks every two seconds. Um, you over here are making four sticks, eight sticks every two seconds. So it will be something like this. And then iron gear wheels. We need four every two. Um, you make four every two. So that's more or less going to be our build. And it's pure iron. Then you're going to be putting out one per second. So let's make four of these. And then we're going to be happy. Good. Let's start placing it over here. Uh, you, 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 and then you. Um, I see the way. And one, two. Easiest way to count to three. <laughs> you over there, you over there, you over there, you over there. Good. That's what insert the parts. That's going to be sticks. Um, I already misclicked. There we go. Stick, sticks. Insert the parts. There we go. And that's some gears. There we go. Good. And then it's going to be you into there, you into there, this into there, this into there. Same thing over here. Let's maybe place them. Let's maybe align them. Um, that might be good. And then it's going to be iron input. Do you need iron as well? No, you do not. You only have outputs. Um, but you have an input. Hmm. Sure, yeah, that will work, that will work. Input, input, input. Uh, input over there, and then input down there. Input down there. We might double input this, but might not. Not quite sure yet. I'm sure about this. This goes like this, this goes like that. You go up, you go over. There we go. And then this goes all the way over. There we go. And then you go like this. You're missing some outputs. You're gonna go like that. Nope, that's the wrong way. That's also the wrong way. Flip, thank you very much. And then, nope, I'm just flipping these belts around the wrong way. There we go. And then the chest will be over here. And the input will be over there. Oh, was already correct. Good. And yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. And then we're gonna have something like this. Yeah. And that, I guess. It's off by one, but so be it. Good. And that will be insert the parts done. Let's see. Power over there. Ah, okay, that doesn't reach. Maybe power over here, power over there. That does reach. Power over here. Power over there. There, here, there. I'm out of pulse again. <laughs> uh, okay, let's make the metal ones then. Oh, we're still pocket crafting medikits? Oof. Okay, maybe in the meantime I can find a tree. There's a tree. Tree! Get over here! Chop, chop. And we're still doing good on time for the episode. Either that or just just, just space-time in general is slowing down. Oh, we missed you somehow. Uh, yeah, move you up. Good. And that should be making us some inserted parts. These are, for some reason, still completely the wrong way around. <laughs> There we go. Oh, I do like that they have all different kinds of colors and stuff like that. That's that's lovely. That is lovely. Okay, let's limit this to four. You over there. Yeah, let's limit this to 16. Um, that will be over here. Good. And then we got some basic automation done of the basic intermediates that we're going to need later on. I think this stacks up to 200. We will see. Um, but at least now we are... Good to go for a while. I also got a whole bunch of coal in my pocket. 
that they kind of want to get rid of real quick. Uh, do we have like a core injection belt? We do have a core injection belt. Um, so let's dump that in here. Now, I did kind of say that we want to do that little biter expansion over there later on, but we still got like a whole bunch of time. So why not shoot up some biters? Also, is this working on speed? Or maybe he was only backed up. No, you're... You're making eight every two? You need four every two? That's eight every two. It, it might just be that, that these, these inserts over here are just not keeping up. That might be the case. Yeah, that's definitely the case because it's backing up in here. Uh, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, then, sure. Let's liberate the coal patch over here. Coal patch is over here, and there are some biters around over there. Uh, let's see how biter combat is. I've got my armor on. Yes, I don't have my gun yet. There we go. Uh, let's get the medpacks out because we're going to need them. And let's see how this goes. I'm also kind of curious about the creep. I've heard that the creep is... Oh, yeah, we've got the combat... Um, different combat mod on, so shooting is a little bit different now. Ah, it, this, this kind of works. Are these tougher than usual? I think these are tougher than usual. There we go, that's one down. I will not settle the creep just right now. The creep might hurt us. And I think, wasn't there something like a shovel or something like that to shovel up the creep? Or or am I mistaking it? There we go. Okay, now the creep... Oh, that's super slow. <laughs> Good. Um, let's have a bit of a walkabout. Um, just to see if there is anything around here. Uh, in terms of nests. If there's not, then we're just gonna... Uh, plunk some turrets around it. And just get that going. Making turrets should also be a little bit more easy. Because we can just pocket craft them. Because we can just pick up the parts that we need. Um, then again. I could already start doing that. So make all these turrets please. Um, did we ever make a wall factory? I don't think so. Uh, I'm going to leave the defenses over there. I'll just make new defenses over here. Um, basically this will help us make a little bit of a stack of defense. In case one defensive line fails. Then we still have the backup line over here. Good. Um, we should also make a stone path over there, if possible. Uh, not quite sure if we ever automated, um, making walls, but this will be fine. <laughs> this will be fine. Uh, start making walls for now. Oh, that was a mislick. There we go. And we've got five turrets over here. Um, we definitely did automate, at some point in time, some ammo production. That's over there. Uh, we just need to feed it up a bit. So, you get some of this, and then you get some... Oh, that's a little bit much. That's fine. Um, you're also running out of coal. That is fine as well. We can just pick up some coal from down here. And it's not the best assembly machine ever, but it is a machine that is working. And that's important. We do have to hand feed this every now and then, but, but it, it's going to make, like, tons and tons of ammo. There we go. And let's just keep that running for now. Good. Then, sure, let's let's claim that coal field. In the meantime, this thing over here can just keep running and backing up. Uh, yeah, it stacks up to 200, so stacking up to 800 over there should be fine. And then we're just gonna put some turrets around this thing. Uh, yeah, you're still pocket crafting walls. <laughs> Good. Like one over there. Uh, the turrets. The only criteria I have for the turrets is that they should be in range of each other. So that each turret can shoot um, melee biters at the base of the other turret. And then you should be good. And we're just going to make like little, little foundations like this. This way around. Uh, there we go. There we go. We are at least protected against uh, biters. We're not protected against spitters, but then again, in protecting against spitters is a whole different way of building. Um, that would require actually functioning walls and things like dragon teeth and stuff like that. Landmines are absolutely amazing. 
Um, now, in, in our uh, Die World Dynamics world, uh, sadly, we did not have any landmines. And in my um, Pyenodon's world, we also don't have landmines. But landmines are bloody amazing. There we go. There we go. There we go. Just fill them up with a little bit. Um, as they can also be automatically replaced by bots. Like, whenever a landmine goes up, like, a bot will fly over there and replace that one. Um, which is fun. Which is absolutely fun. Good. So you're still making walls. Stop making walls here. Make, make, make me some turrets, please. And we're just going to grab up some ammo. And then we're good. And we're good. It's still super dark everywhere. I did turn the brightness up. Um... But, yeah, we should make lamps soon. Now, the only reason why we never made any lamps in Diewold Dynamics was because the lamps required glass. And making glass was a pain in the arse. Um, so we never made it. <laughs> we never made any lamps. Uh, but we should put some lamps in here soon so that you guys can see a bit better. How many electric miners do I have? Ooh, that sounds close by. No, nope, never mind. It's not. Good. Okay, we got some turrets over here, and then over here we do the same thing. Let's start maybe over here, and then we go this way. And then we have something like a perimeter. Uh, well, there's a gap over there. Uh, well, okay, we, we should close that gap. <laughs> maybe some more turrets, please. <laughs> um... There we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that should be fine. Good. And then, oh, there's another turret over there. I can see you there. Mm. I mean, initially, we could also think about making like a massive wall and just use that. Oh, that was actually correct. Um. But making a massive wall also requires us to put in a lot of resources, uh, which I don't really want to do right now. No, this one's already ready to go. Perfect. Um, we could do that, but nah. Nah. Not in the mood for that. Good. Um, this one, maybe over here, and then one over there. That should be fine. That should be fine. I also don't think that these will see any much action. Um, we're going to hide them in the trees a bit. We're going to use these trees. I don't think biters... Well, biters do attack trees every now and then. But... Yeah, that should be fine. You get some extra ammo. But we're just going to hide them in the trees. There we go. And then you get the rest of this. Good. Perfect. And now we have... It also looks kind of nice on the map. If you see like like these... Not this. Uh, not that. If you see like these little, little white dots over here claiming more and more areas. Uh, for now... Even if we expand, we leave the turrets um, just as a backup defense, uh, just in case things go go wrong. Um, but this over here will be fine for now. Good. Also, somebody told me make a radar as soon as possible so you can scan your surroundings a little bit better. Where is radar, actually? Um... Oh, I see it over there. Oh, God, where did it go? There is... That's programmable structures. There we go. A radar. Mm, with the advanced radar and the normal radar... And that could maybe reach over there. Who knows? Who knows? Good. Now, off camera, I will be filling up this field over here. So next time around, you will see this field in action. Um, and then the episode afterwards, we're probably going to start automating things like belts, inserters, and stuff like that. Because we've got all the base materials ready to go. Good. So, if you do like what you're seeing, please do leave a like, a follow, a comment. Any one of those actions will help me grow this YouTube channel into something amazing. You can also find me on twitch.tv slash boldviking, where I have this massively sized, oversized Pyanodon's base. Um, and we've been playing that since March 2020, and I do hope that we can finish that one by March 2022. Nevertheless, I wish you all an amazing evening, and until next time, see you around!